Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to delve into the exciting world of performance testing with Apache Jmeter. Welcome to the presentation titled uh, Jmeter Practical Performance Testing and Load Generation. Uh, my name is Amna Amjid and I am delighted to be your, your presenter for this session. Throughout this presentation, we will explore the capabilities of Apache Jmeter and how it can help us in achieving effective performance testing and load generation. So let's get started. Uh, okay, first of all, whether you are a tester, developer, or someone interested in ensuring that your software performs optimally, this presentation indeed will provide valuable insights and practical knowledge. First of all, the purpose of this presentation is to introduce you about Apache Jmeter that is as a robust tool for performance testing. Second, we will explore the key features and benefits of Apache Jmeter. Uh, by the end of the session, you will have a clear understanding of how Jmeter can be used to conduct effective performance test and evaluate the performance of your application uh, focus uh, basically in my presentation i will be focusing on performance testing specifically load testing for load testing apache jmeter is an excellent choice due to its many benefits and features apache jmeter is platform independent which means uh, it can be used on any operating system however for this presentation i will be demonstrating the gui that is graphical user interface mode of apache jmeter on the windows operating system so let's start by discussing the agenda of this presentation. Uh, first introduction, in this I will start by exploring the need for performance testing and introduce you about Apache Jmeter. Then installation and setup. In this I will guide you through the basic steps of downloading and installing Apache Jmeter. Uh, then third, uh, Jmeter elements. I will discuss the key elements of Jmeter such as thread group, sampler and listener uh, which are essential for creating comprehensive performance testing scenarios. Uh, then uh, test uh, then Jmeter JUI. In this, I will showcase the user-friendly graphical user interface of Jmeter, uh, which enables us to easily create and execute test plan. Perform then performance and load testing. I will dive into the exciting part that is performance testing. I will walk you through a practical example to demonstrate how Jmeter can evaluate application performance. Then I will discuss about best practices and tips uh, for effective performance testing. Then at the last, I will summarize the key points covered in our presentation. So let's start by understanding what performance testing is and why it is crucial for software application. Performance testing is a software testing process that focusing on evaluating the speed, response time, stability, reliability, scalability, and resource usage of an application under a specific workload. The primary goal of performance testing can be summarized as achieving speed, scalability, and stability. Speed basically refers to the application responsiveness and how quickly it can process user requests. Second, scalability determines how well the application can handle increased workload and user concurrency. Then lastly, stability relates to the application ability to sustain its performance level over an extended period without performance degradation. Then why is performance testing so crucial? Let's explore the reason why it plays a vital role in software development and maintenance. Firstly, uh, performance testing is, is essential to ensure optimally user experience and customer satisfaction. What does it mean? Uh, in today's fast-paced digital world, users expect application to be responsive, efficient, and perform flawlessly under different conditions. With the help of performance testing, we can validate the application performance, ensuring that it meets user expectation and delivers a positive user experience. Second reason is performance testing allows us to identify and resolve performance bottlenecks before they impact user. What does it mean? It means that by simulating various load scenarios and stress conditions, we can proactively detect any performance issues and address them, preventing potential disruption and negative user experiences. Third, finally, even minor performance issues can have a significant impact on application success. Uh, it means that users have little tol tolerance for slow loading pages, unresponsive interfaces, or delays in processing their requests. These issues can lead to user uh, frustration or even reputational damage. By conducting performance testing, we can mitigate these risks and deliver a high performing application that meets user demand. Uh, now that we understand the importance of performance testing, let's now introduce Apache Jmeter. Apache Jmeter is an open source performance testing tool that provides a wide range of capabilities. Uh, it offers a comprehensive set of features to conduct various types of tests. With Jmeter, you can perform load testing, stress testing, functional testing, and more. Moreover, Jmeter supports various protocols, including HTTP, HTTPS, SOAP, that is Simple Object Secure Protocol, REST, and JDBC, making it adaptable to different types of applications and technologies. Let's move forward. 
Now let's explore the key testing types that you can perform using Apache JMeter. JMeter offers versatile capabilities for different testing scenarios. Firstly, we have load testing. Load testing involves simulating expected user loads on the system and measuring its performance under normal and peak loads. Next, we have stress testing. Stress testing pushes the system to its limits and access its performance, stability, and resilience under extreme conditions. Lastly, we have functional testing. Functional testing focuses on testing the functionality and behavior of application. Okay, so using Apache JMeter as your performance testing tool brings several benefits that contribute to its popularity and effectiveness. Let's explore some of the key benefits of Apache JMeter. First, Apache JMeter is released under an open source license. This means that it is freely available for use and the source code is accessible and modifiable. Secondly, JMeter provides a user-friendly GUI graphical user interface. The GUI offers a visual interface that simplifies test creation, even configuration and management. Thirdly, Apache JMeter is platform independent. It can be run on various operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS and Linux. JMeter also offers test visualization capabilities. It provides graphical representation of test results, including response time, throughput, error rates, and other performance matrices. Furthermore, JMeter boosts easily installation. It comes as a standalone application with straightforward installation procedure. Second, another advantage of JMeter is its support for multiple protocols. It can handle various protocols, including HTTP, HTTPS, SOAP, REST, and more. Lastly, JMeter offers multiple testing strategies. It provides option for distributed load testing, data-driven testing, and uh, assertion to validate responses. Let's move forward and see how to install Apache JMeter on Windows operating system. Okay, when it comes to installing and setting up Apache JMeter, you will be happy to know that it is compatible with various operating system. JMeter is a pure Java application, which means it can run correctly on any system that has a compatible Java implementation. Let's take a look at the list of operating systems that are supported by JMeter. First, Linux. JMeter is fully compatible with Linux distribution. Whether you are using Ubuntu, Fedora, or any other Linux flavor, you can install and run JMeter easily. Then, Windows. JMeter is well suited for Windows operating system. It works smoothly on Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 easily. Mac OS. If you are a Mac OS user, you can easily install and use JMeter on your Mac. Then, Ubuntu. JMeter supports Ubuntu, which is a popular Linux distribution. You can install and run JMeter on Ubuntu without any issues. Okay, let's go through the step-by-step -step process of installing Apache JMeter on your system. Follow these steps to get JMeter up and running. The first step is install Java before installing JMeter. You need to have Java installed on your machine. Visit the Oracle website that is www.oracle.com and download the appropriate Java development kit for your Windows operating system. Follow the installation instruction provided by Oracle to set up Java on your machine. The next step is download JMeter. Next, navigate to the official Apache JMeter website, that is jmeter.apache.org, and download the latest version of JMeter. Make sure to choose the right version. Make sure to choose the correct distribution package that matches your operating system. Installation. Extract the archive. Once the download is complete, Extract the contents of JMeter archive file to a location of your choice. This process will create a JMeter directory with all the necessary files and folder. Okay, once the extraction is done, the next step is to run the JDK exe file on your Windows operating system for installing the Java development kit. You have to, uh, you have choose the default setting and click on next next uh, now the java development kit is start installing on windows operating system once this java development kit is installed on your windows operating system the next step is to verify that whether it is installed on your system or not for um, once it's complete now uh, close this and you have you have to go on command prompt and what for that you have to visit the command prompt and write a command that is java space slash uh, space dash version and if you see the following screen it's mean that java is successfully installed on your windows operating system congratulations okay the next step is to launch jmeter there are different ways to launch uh, 
Jamita, you can launch it in GUI mode, you can launch in server mode, you can launch in command uh, line prompt, command line mode. But uh, I already mentioned it. I will I will work on a GU mode, a GUI mode. So navigate to the Jmeter directory and look at the Jmeter. Open the bin folder and click on this file. Uh, this file that is Apache Jmeter dot jar, and you will see that we have successfully launched the Apache Jmeter on our windows operating system you will see this gui mode of apache jmeter congratulations you have successfully installed apache jmeter on your system now you are ready to start creating test plan and conducting performance tests with jmeter let's move forward we have successfully installed the java development kit and jmeter on our windows operating system before creating and running the test plan we have to understand the basic elements of Apache Jmeter that you will encounter while creating your performance test. Understanding these elements is crucial for constructing effective test plans. Let's dive into each element. This is the basic structure of Jmeter elements. Let's explore each element in detail. Okay, the first is test plan. The test plan is the top level element in Jmeter. It acts as a container for all other elements and sets the overall structure and settings for your test. You can define properties, specify test duration, enable, disable elements, and set other configuration within the test plan. The next is thread group. The thread group represents a group of users or threads that simulate concurrent user activity on your application. It defines the number of threads, ramp up time, and loop count, determining how many virtual users participate in the test and how they are distributed over time. The three is controller. Controllers define the flow and logic of your test. They control the order in which elements are executed and help structure your test plan. There are basically different types of controller available in Jmeter, such as simple controller, loop controller, and if controller. The next is samplers. Samplers are responsible for sending requests to your application under test. They simulate user actions such as uh, sending HTTP requests, interacting with forms, or making database queries. The next is listeners. Listeners collect and display the test results in the form of graphs, table, etc. They provide variable insights into response time, throughput, error rates, and other performance matrices. The next is assertion. Assertion help validate the responses received from the server. They allow you to specify conditions and criteria that the server response should meet. Configuration elements. Configuration elements provide additional settings and configurations for your test. They include HTTP cookie manager. HTTP, HTTP authorization manager and user defined variable. Basically, configuration elements help you customize and enhance your test plan according to your specific requirements. The last is timers. The timers introduce delays between requests sent by the virtual users. They simulate think times and pauses between user actions. Timers basically ensure that realistic test scenarios by adding delays, simulating user behavior, and controlling the passing of your test. Okay, now that we have explored the core elements, let's move forward and see the GUI mode of Jmeter and in which we have basically see how to create test plan, how to add elements, how to create JMX file, how to configure elements, how to save a test plan, and how to run a test plan. And after that, we have practically performed a performance testing of a specific website that is UOH, the University of Haripur, and find uh, we have performed a load testing and find the performance of this website okay the next task is to understand the gui of jmeter before performing and performing the load testing on uoh website first of all we will need to understand the basic uh, structure and gui mode of jmeter that will help us to create the test plan uh, to execute the test plan and how to configure and how to add basic elements in your test plan so let's get started and explore the GUI of Apache Jmeter. So when you launch the Apache Jmeter on Windows operating system, you will see this uh, interface. Uh, this is the test plan uh, pen in where you add you add the basic elements. This is the menu bar. This green button uh, button show how to run the test. This is the test st status. This will show the status of your test, and this uh, big window shows the configuration of your test plan so, so start from what is test plan this uh, test plan is where you add elements required for your jmeter test it stores all the elements like thread group timer etc and their co corresponding settings required to run your desired test so how to add elements 
Adding element is the essential step to build a test plan because without adding elements, JMeter cannot execute your test plan. You can add an element to test plan by right clicking on test plan. And choose new, new elements from add list. Suppose you want to add two elements to test plan that is bean shell assertion and java request default. You have to right click on test plan, then add, then assertion, then bean shell assertion. Now the next you want to add configuration element. Configuration element. Now java request default. Where is java request default? This is. So this is how you can add elements in test plan. Remove an unused element. Let's say you want to remove HTTP request default. Select HTTP request default. Right click, choose remove from the context menu. Click yes to confirm delete this element on message box. This is how you remove elements from your test pen that is not necessary uh, for your test. The next is how to create a JMX file, Java management extension. So you have already added an element named bean shell assertion. Now you want to save it. Right click bean shell assertion. Select save selection as a dialog box display. Click save button to save your elements under default name bean shell assertion.jmx. You can choose other names if you want. Jmeter test element and test plan are stored in .jmx format. Jmx is standing for Java management extension. The next is how to configure elements. In order to configure elements, select the elements in the tree pane on the left pane and enter configuration settings on the right pane. For example, this you can comment, you can configure all settings on the right pane. Now, how to save a test plan? Before running a test, you should save your test plan first. Saving your test plan helps you avoid unexpected error when running the test plan. In order to save test plan, you have to go file. Save test plan as a dialog box display. Enter a file name of test plan. For example, we have name it test.jmx, then save. Click save. Now the last is how to run test plan. Test plan. To run your single or multiple test plan, choose this green button or control or from the run menu item click it your test is run and you see the status of your test by clicking on this this will show the status of your test graphical user interface in which we saw what is a test plan how to add elements how to create jmx file how to configure elements how to save a test plan and how to run test plan by now you should have a solid understanding of performance testing specifically load testing and apache jmeter we have discussed the benefits of Apache JMeter, its essential elements, and its GUI mode. Now let's put our knowledge into practice with a real-world example. Uh, in this next phase, we will basically use Apache JMeter to perform low testing on the University of Haripur website. This will, uh, this will allow us to assess the website performance in real time. We will simulate different levels of user traffic and observe how the website handles the load. Okay, uh, we have already discussed the load testing and stress testing and performance testing. Uh, the main point is we have to find the normal load and heavy load before um, performing our test. Normal load is basically average number of users visit your website and heavy load the maximum number of users visit your website. So you have to find what is your target in this test. Through this practical demonstration, we will see uh, firsthand how Apache JMeter helps evaluate the performance of web application under realistic load conditions. Before start performing load testing on UOH, University of Haripur website for 2000 users, we should determine roadmap for our entire test. Roadmap help us throughout our uh, test process and minimize the test errors during the uh, test. The roadmap for our test is add thread group, then add JMeter elements, then add graph results, and at the last run test and get results. So the first step is add thread group. I think uh, I have performed it practically for better understanding. The first uh, first step is add thread group. Start JMeter, select test plan on the tree and add thread group. Right click on the test plan and add a new thread group. 
This is how you add thread group in test plan. Okay. In the thread group control panel, enter thread properties as follows. Number of threads, 200. Ram up period, also 200. And loop count is 10. So why, uh, so why I select these values? Basically, we have to perform low testing uh, on UOH for 2000 users. But entering 2000 threads, it is better. You have to choose 200 threads and loop count 10. It means 200 multiplied by 10 is equal to 2000 because loop, uh, loop count tells us number of time to execute testing. And what is this RAM up period? RAM up period basically RAM up period basically tells the meter how long to delay before starting the next user. For example, if we have 2000, uh, 200 users and a 200 second RAM up period, then the delay between starting users would be one second because 200 second divided by 200 user is one second. Okay, the next step is adding JMeter elements. In order to adding JMeter elements, the first we determine what JMeter elements in this test. The element are HTTP request default. This element can be added by right click on the thread group, add, configure elements, and find HTTP request defaults. This is how we add HTTP request default. In the path, here you write the address of website on which you have to perform load testing. So uh, we have to perform load testing on University of Haripur website. So we write the address of University of Haripur website, HTTP column slash UOH dot EDU dot PK. Okay. The next element, we have add HTTP request default. Now the next element, HTTP request. How to add HTTP request? Right click on thread group and select add sampler and then HTTP request. This is how you add HTTP request. Okay, the main thing I want to tell you here is that in HTTP request control panel, the path field indicates which URL request you want to send to UOH server. For example, uh, if you enter academics in path field, Jmeter will create the URL, URL request that is HTTP slash www.uoh.edu.pk that is the address of website slash academics to UOH server. Keep the path field blank, Jmeter will create the URL request to UOH server. So in this test, I will recommend you to keep the path field blank to make Jmeter create the URL request that is HTTP slash slash uoh.edu.pk to UOH server. Okay, I we have completed our two step. That is first we, uh, we add thread group, then we add our JMeter elements. Our two basic elements are added in this test. First is HTTP request default, and the next is HTTP request. Now the next step is adding graph result. JMeter can show the test result in graph format. So how to add graph result in test plan? You have to click right click on test plan, then add listener. Then add, how, add listener and then graph result. Where is graph result? There. Okay. Okay. We have successfully completed the first three steps in our roadmap. First of all, we added thread group and configure our thread group. Then we add Jmeter elements. Uh, there are two uh, elements that we add. First, we add HTTP request. Then we add HTTP request default. Then we add our some uh, listener that is graph result. Now the fourth and the last step in our roadmap is to run test and get the test result. So how to run test and get, uh, get the test result? So in order to run test and get the test result, you have to simply press Control R from your keyboard or just press this green button to start the software testing process. So you will see the test result display on graph in the real time. Here, click on graph result and get. And there you see the live demonstration of load testing on UOH server. There are basically different terms show at the bottom. At the bottom of this picture, there are statistics represented in colors, the black, blue, red, and green. The black shows the total number of current samples sent. At this time, it is 838, now 849. Uh, the blue, the current average of all samples sent, the blue tells us the average. The red, the current standard deviation. 
and the green throughput rate that represent the number of requests per minute the server handled. So the main thing in this picture is to analyze the performance of UOS server. To analyze the performance of UOS server, to analyze the performance of the web server under test, you should focus on two parameters, throughput and deviation. The throughput is the most important parameter. It represents the ability of the server to handle a heavy load. So the higher the throughput is, the better is the server performance. In this test, the our test is not completed yet. When it's complete, uh, I will show you the throughput of our test. And second, you should focus on deviation. The deviation is shown in red. It indicates the deviation from the average. The smaller, the better. OK, now let's see the result of our test. Our test uh, completed. And at this time, the number of samples is 2,640. Our deviation is 3,741. Latest sample is 174 and throughput is 213. At this time, the throughput is very less. But if you perform it again, you most likely get another value. So don't panic. And OK, the values you get from your test depends on several factors like current server load at UOS server, your internet speed, your CPU power, etc. Hence, it's very unlikely that you will get the same result as above. So don't panic and perform your testing again. And if you face the issue while running the above scenario, you have to check whether you are connecting to the internet via proxy. If yes, you have to remove your proxy. OK, let's now discuss some best practices and tips for effectively using Apache JMeter in your performance testing efforts. These practices will help you optimize your test and ensure accurate results. Here are some key recommendations. Start small. OK, when beginning with JMeter, it's advisable to start with small scale test to familiarize yourself with the tool and understand its capabilities. Then gradually increase the complexity and scale of your test as you gain confidence and experience. The next is define clear goals. Before conducting any performance test, clearly define your objective and goals. Define the roadmap. What specific aspects of the application performance are you targeting? By having clear goals in mind, you can design focus test and accurately evaluate the performance. The next is design realistic test scenarios. What does it mean? It means that to simulate real world scenarios, design test scenarios that closely resemble actual user behavior. Consider fa factors such as user flows, think times and data deviation. By replicating real user behavior, you can obtain more accurate performance matrices. The next is monitor system resources. Keep a close eye on system resources during the test execution. Monitor CPU, memory, network usage, and other relevant matrices. This will help you identify resource bottlenecks and ensure the accuracy of your performance measurement. The next is analyze and interpret results. Thoroughly analyze the test result to gain meaningful insights. Look for performance patterns, response times, and error rates. Identify any anomalies or unexpected behaviors. The next is identify and fix bottlenecks. Performance testing is an iterative process. Refine your test scenarios, make adjustments, and retest as needed. By repeating the test cycle, you can continuously improve the performance of your application and ensure its scalability. The next, the last is stay updated. Stay informed about the latest updates and developments in Apache JMeter. Regularly check for new releases, bugs fixes, and features enhancement. Being up to date with the latest version of JMeter ensures that you have access to the most robust and reliable testing capabilities. Okay, by following these practices and tips, you can make the most out of Apache JMeter and conduct comprehensive and effective performance testing. Let's keep these recommendations in mind. We have reached at the end of our presentation. Let's conclude this presentation. Throughout this presentation, we have explored Apache JMeter, an open source performance testing tool, and its significance in evaluating the performance of web application. We discussed the key features and benefits of Apache JMeter. Then we emphasized the importance of performance testing. Then we discussed the steps for installing and setting up JMeter. We also discussed the essential elements of JMeter, such as test plan, thread group controllers, we explored how to use JMeter for performance and load testing. 
In the end, we created a performance tested plan in Jmeter for analyzing the UOH website with 2000 users. In conclusion, Apache Jmeter serves as a powerful tool for performance testing, enabling us to ensure optimal user experience, identify and resolve performance issues, and achieve the desired performance standards for our applications. As we conclude this presentation, I encourage you to explore these resources and further expand your knowledge about Apache Jmeter. These resources will serve as a valuable reference and help you continuously improve your skills in performance testing. Remember, learning is a continuous process and these resources will keep you updated with the latest development in Jmeter and performance testing technique. Thank you for joining me in this presentation on Apache Jmeter and performance testing. We explored the capabilities of Jmeter, learned how to install and set it up, and understood its importance in assessing and optimizing application performance. I encourage you to explore Apache Jmeter further, its features, and incorporate it in your performance testing practices. Remember, by conducting thorough performance testing, we can ensure that our application deliver optimal performance, scalability, and reliability. Thank you once again, and happy testing.